Hello, all my good friends, and welcome back to the Train to Supersonic Legend, the series where I must earn points through training before I can purchase ranked games. The last two episodes have been fun, and we've made some small progress, but it's time to get serious. The goal today is to spend the 10,000 points I saved up last episode on ranked, and test myself to see if I'm truly getting better. And I know you guys hate when YouTubers tell you to watch until the end of the video, but today I promise it will be worth it. The advice I get from Ulti, my coach during this challenge, is so game changing that I am now 100% certain I will get Supersonic Legend just because of what he told me. You're not gonna wanna miss it. it. It could honestly change Rocket League forever. That's how insane the information he gives me is. This is the first time I've done this. I've accidentally gone for a couple hours and didn't realize I was still in training. There we go. You've been awarded negative 550 points or 5,500 points. Okay, you're back down to 10,000. By the way, this is why I might have 12,000 hours. It's definitely not from just playing the game. I, I do this all the time. I I'm a Rocket League YouTuber. Now, before I queue into these ranked games, I, I know I'm teasing this, I'm sorry, but I want to look at a replay from Monkey Moon. Monkey Moon is goaded. He's one of the best players in the game, but he's not the most mechanical. He's just extremely smart, and I want to find out something. I want to watch him as many times as I can throughout this series. And yes, replays do give me points. A few of you guys were mentioning that I should get points from replays, and it, it was already in there. I forgot to mention it. So let's see if we can find any of Monkey Moon's secrets. Okay, wait a second. This dude, you're telling me this dude right now isn't going to go rotate back? Okay, I would be flipping already behind my teammate, but Monkey Moon just sits here waiting for the pass. Look at this. Like, is it... I'm not sure who's going to win this 50-50 yet, but he just completely trusts. That's wild. So patient. Literally just doesn't leave the ground. Gets his catch. He's staring at enemies. Good play. I mean, that's just such an efficient play. That's what I'm talking about. This dude's like maximum efficiency and scores it! Hello? Okay, that's insane. Teammate's hitting a quad reset? Wait a second, what the? There's no, dude, even this first reset, I'm gone. I'm so past the ball. How did he stay close? Okay, two. What a flip reset. Three. He gets a triple flip reset. Like, literally nothing. Yeah, it's always difficult trying to learn from pro replays because those dudes are just actually insane. But it's time to play ranked, and in the casual warm-up game, uh, I hit a shot that I, I definitely would not have hit if I wasn't training. Oh. What? Oh my god, dude. I just love training right now. I feel like these type of things just don't happen to me. I'm ready. Let's face some rank. All right, I am fully warmed up now. I did 3,000 more points of training, and I'm only going to spend 10,000 points. So I want to have some left over. I'm hopefully going to get some win streaks, which will give me more points back. So we'll see how far this 13,000 points takes me. Oh boy, this is weird. I've been playing a ton of casual, so it's weird to be in like a, a true game here. I'm, I'm not too stressed. I'm not too stressed about this initial rank game. Oh, wait, this is this is literally... I worked on it. If I had a better second touch, I think I had that goal. I'm still in Louisiana, and my internet is still really bad. Luckily, I think it's just good enough that I can play ranked. And believe it or not, all of the training is paying off. Look at this aerial. Look how good... Uh, that one was actually an own goal. Uh, you know, I could leave out all the bad clips, but that wouldn't be indicative of my real experience. So welcome to the journey to Supersonic Legend. It's not going to be own goal free. Still, the first game was kind of boring. My teammate just kept diming me up for these easy goals. And by the end, the other team dimed me up for an easy goal and we won five to two. So I'll take an easy win out of the gate. I feel like there's kind of like this hidden pressure of like people are expecting me to be like goaded at this game because I'm practicing, but I guess I'll have to just kind of get over that. Uh, yeah, this game was not going well. I mean, three of us pinched this into our own net. What is going on? All right, we got th we got three minutes, plenty of time to come back. I don't want to lose the game, but not the end of the world if we do. Uh, I think I just got scored on again. I don't know how I did it, but I forgot to record one game and I won it. I won the game. I, it must have been very boring or something. But here on game number three, we went down quick. And put yourself into this scenario. You just got scored on pretty horrifically and your teammate in solo queue basically has the power to ruin your day by just leaving or forfeiting. But for some reason, I still can't explain. He decided to stick it out. Down by three, we came back and did the impossible. We got the W. Feels good. Were you a pro player? Nah, YouTuber. LOL. Oh, that's it. <laughs> hey, what? Okay, that was just unfortunate timing on the lag there. What the hell? What, what is this? Like, what the? 
what? Dude, I lag at that moment, and then the next thing I see is my the ball going into our net at 155 kph. Cross map, top bins. Despite uh, Louisiana having the worst internet, we still won. We still won pretty handily. My teammate was goaded. It was solid gameplay. I, I wasn't even worried about the loss. The next game uh, was crazy. We got to overtime, and this might be the stupidest goal I've ever seen. But you know what? I'm going to take it. I'll take the win. That puts us at five wins and one loss, and we're up big in MMR. And we still have plenty of points remaining. But as much as I'd love to say the win streak continued, uh, it did not. It was a mix of bad gameplay, bad teammates, bad luck, whatever. And the final game resulted in a loss too. So six wins, four losses, not the worst ever. I was hoping for a little bit better, but we still have plenty of points to work with. I'm gonna call it for now. As I already mentioned, I'm gonna get a coaching session and I need 5,000 points, which I already have, but I wanna have a lot more because I would like to also purchase a ranked game with a pro for 7,000. 500 points. It's totally a waste of points and I could definitely use that for greater good, but I don't care. I want to see what it's like to get into a pro game. So we're going to save up a ton of points. And this time I want to work a lot on ground mechanics. Ground mechanics are just as important as aerial mechanics, probably more so in twos and ones, of course, and threes. I'm a little bit nervous. I've avoided ground training for over 12,000 hours. And now I feel like I'm forced to do it. I have to go in there and I have to get better at it. Luckily, there's a guy out there with a training pack that's going to make this grind so, so much better. This dude, I, I can't tell you guys enough. He is he is my YouTube coach. Uh, Kev, if you're watching this, bro, I appreciate everything you do and have done. Even on this first shot, I'm already struggling. I, ground mechanics are something I'm very bad at. All right, I'm about 15 minutes in. This shot, I kind of like. It's cool. You hit the control with the top of your car like that, and then you can get a flick. Oh, that was a good flick. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of what we're looking for. I, I want that type of control on every single ground mechanic if I can. I mean, obviously, consistency is huge, but that's the level we're looking for. Take a look at the upper right and look at my current points. I'm on shot number 24. I'm not even halfway through this pack, and I've been in here for easily over like an hour and a half. This training pack is kind of addicting, and I feel like I'm actually starting to get a little bit better at things. This shot in particular, just look at the shot. Wave dashes into the wall, into the catch. Beautiful flick. I mean, come on. If I'm able to do that in the middle of the game, it, that'll give me the SSL, no, no question. Floating waveless, you and me. I actually enjoyed ground training. I thought that was pretty fun. I have not done that really ever in my Rocket League career. And I feel like I'm finally starting to become a more well-rounded Rocket League player. Now, this is not going to be the last time we hit up this training pack. More times will definitely come in the future. It's, just, it's been a long couple of days of grinding. I feel so good. But Ulti did say the next coaching session is going to be so important. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend that. There's, I mean, coaching will never be a bad thing. So I'm going to spend my points there. This is the part where it feels weird. Like this is truly just a fun thing. And you know what? I don't care. 7,500 points. We're at 209. Oh man, it feels so, I have not seen red points in a long time. Oh boy. Okay, well, we've done it. We've, uh, we're locked and loaded. We're gonna get a coaching session and then we're gonna play with a pro or vice versa, whichever one we feel like. All right, before we have the coaching session with Ulti, I wanna make sure I get a fresh ranked game for him. So of course I came to double tap playground for a thousand points, but I'm ready. I'm ready to go into this ranked game and see if my ground control has done anything. All right, we ended up getting 2000 points. A little bit of warm up went really well. Gosh, I, I just love being in a ranked game. Here we go, we're playing against Joe Biden, no way. I'm about to flip reset all over you. It should be an easy win. Dude's 79,000 years old. So uh, yeah, Joe Biden kicked my ass. I don't know what it was, maybe I was trying to do too much, but I definitely did not play well. I was making stupid mistakes like this, and we lost two to four. Uh, luckily, I do have 1,000 more points, and I really want a good replay for ulti, so I'm gonna go back into another one. 
I don't I don't care. That was so bad. I, I actually can't show that to ulti. Like I, I just gotta pretend like that game never existed. Um, this game was slightly better, but not by much. I had a teammate who was not very happy with what I was doing. And we were down by one. We had a chance to come back and win this game with 40 seconds. Uh my teammate decided to dive in and just straight whiff. So hey, back at you, buddy. We both suck. Uh but no, it, it was a bad game for me. If I played better, regardless of my teammate, we would have been fine. But now, yeah, I, I definitely need ulti. It's clear, even with these two ranked games, there's something Something going wrong i need ulti to help me out i am definitely missing something I, there's i should not be losing to 1400s right now ulti Sibel. so how are you feeling um i told ulti about the last two games and how horribly they went we talked for a little bit about it and then we got straight into a discussion about fundamentals the fundamentals are equally as important as the advanced stuff so we decided to go over that first and it turns out i didn't know the fundamentals as well as i thought i did so we're gonna go ahead and actually go over the fundamentals here a little bit and kind of talk about essentially how the field works overall post to post post to post the ball has to go in the center lane to ever be scored on, right? So no matter what, whenever you go on back post rotation, let's say the ball is over here, you go on back post rotation, you're going to be defending that center lane. When it comes to rotation, we're gonna to go to the blackboard here. If you're in the play, let's say, let's say the ball is with the opponent and you're on the play with it, right? You push to a certain point, you have created a blind spot. That blind spot is very dangerous. So every time you're under the ball, or you have blind spots, you always get out. So the reason we want you rotating so fast is because when you get out quickly and come back in, most opponents don't actually move the play fast enough to actually compensate for how quickly you can get around and turn back facing the play because you're basically an immovable object at a certain point. I don't know why, but that made a lot of sense to me in the moment. And it became very clear in the replay that we're looking at that I am not doing this on a regular basis. Right, so the ball is above you and you have a blind spot. You have a spot where you can't control anything, and that's this moment right here. So this whole time, you're just asking for things to go your way. But you're not actually at a point where you can face the play, so you can't turn in, but you also can't play defense because the ball hasn't progressed. Rotating does both of that. Well, rotating is one thing, but there is another concept here called leverage and resistance. This is something that I've personally never really heard of in Rocket League. I mean, I know what leverage is and I know what resistance is, but when it applies to car soccer, I get a little bit lost. Luckily, we have Ulti here to help explain it. So the way I like to think of it is imagine you put a fixed point on any moment in the game and you were to say, what angle gives it to where I have the most powerful angle towards the play? to get the most leverage towards the opponent's net. So if you say it's here, you're wrong, right? Because the ball is going off to the side and as it comes in, you're going to have to close in, but that's not the most leverage you can get because the opponent's stopping that pretty effectively. So actually it's more like here because you have the most coverage on this play, it's above the opponent and this person has the furthest to reach for it. So you would be rotating and then go through like that as fast as you can like you should be going not not as fast but like 90 degree 90 percent so yeah looking at my point of view here i'm moving at like 40 percent it's not fast at all compared to this random ssl game i just pulled up this guy goes to the boost deal but gets out as fast as possible even with zero boost and then positions himself at the perfect place and guess what the ball goes right towards him and he's ready to go so it's like here even where's the most powerful place to have the most leverage towards the opponent's net like over here in this general area so if you come in from this general area you would have done a lot better than trying to just go for a backwards bump getting no momentum on the ball or like any real coverage so if you don't have someone in that position guess whose job that is <laughs> after just a tiny bit more discussion ulti told me to go and queue some ranked games while he watched in discord and the sessions went amazingly even though there was a lot that i was thinking about i felt a huge difference in how much i was able to control the field and honestly the game started to feel a lot easier and even though this went to overtime i felt like there was no chance that we were going to lose and ulti in my ear told me i was doing a good job there's a lot of information that ulti spilled out during this so if you need to just rewatch, take a look at your own replays and check out leverage and resistance see if you're putting yourself in advantageous positions to take shots on net and yet again the 5,000 points are so worth it ulti my man he is truly so good at what he does i don't know why an rlcs organization has not picked him up yet he needs to be coaching a team and after all of that coaching i decided to do a casual game just for fun and i was presented with a shot that is almost identical to the ones i'm doing in the kemper dodge control training packs Oh, if I just had a good finish, I would have had that shot. That was that was picture perfect. I had the perfect touch and speed. Oh, okay. I, I'm happy though. I'm happy. 
That was possibly one of the best shots I could have hit, based on my training now. It wasn't the coolest ever, but that's exactly what I'm working on. Okay, I am back at my uh, house, actually, and I have great internet. And I have a thousand points because I've been training for a bit. Oh, and we're just gonna get a fast Q2. Okay, man, I'm feeling good. I just, I just want to see, man. I'm, I'm super eager to just play the way Ulti told me to play. Like this should be a free win. Like it feels like I'm gonna curse myself by saying that, but I, I think I actually got it. Okay, this is where I like kind of chill, and I want to be like resisting here. Yep. I'm so bad. Okay. Whatever, I'm not even really worried about the wall touches. Those are whatever, you know? Like, I'm working on things that Ulti told me to work on. So if I get scored on because I just straight up miss a ball, whatever. Got the beat. He may get to 1v1. It's it's glorious. It's actually glorious. And he's taking his time, so I go for the demo. Oh, I, I am actually the best goalie in the world. Dude, my defense is getting so good, I can defend every shot from everybody. Nice. Good 50. That was a mean... That was a mean 50. Bang. Oh, get in! I'm so good at this game. Oh my... I'm so... Like, ulti? I'm so glad. Nose control was straight up what just happened here. I saw that guy in net, had terrible nose control, and I was facing the play, and I literally beat him by a pixel because of that. It straight up, that goal is because of ulti. Best coach in the game. Let's go. Needless to say, we won this game, and the confidence is at an all-time high. Ulti... I can't thank you enough. I recommend that you go back and watch the part with Ulti. I've now rewatched that session a couple times, and every time I watch it, I get something else out of it. And we've kind of had a slow start here. We haven't played too much ranked, and I think it's time that we change that. Next episode is going to be full of some ranked gameplay, and I do have a pro ready to go. That will be the first thing we do in the next episode. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.